Hi folks, this is the first of our video pieces sent to you by the Rectory. Um, I'm ably assisted by my videographer extraordinaire, extraordinaire being the operative word, <laughs> um, Sarah. And um, so um, we're just going to send you updates and things that are going on and just so that we can stay connected as a church at this time. First of all, I want you to know that we're praying for you. And please send me anything that you've got, any specific requests for prayer for yourself or people in your family or loved ones or in the community that we can pray for. Also, to remind you that between 7 and 8 p.m. every evening, we're holding a prayer watch. Um, and please join me for that as we go through Psalm 91 and we pray covering and we pray the Lord's blessing upon ourselves and upon our communities and upon those um, that we know and love. We want to try and make sure that you're staying connected and um, that we're informing you of what's going on. So I'm going to be sending out text messages to people on a regular basis, to the church on a regular basis, uh, just to up update you and inform you of what's happening. And on Sundays, uh, we'll be posting our first video uh, sermon, which has the added advantage that at any point you can switch me off. Um, but apart from that, we're also going to be asking you if there are any, if there's anything that you have, any testimonies or stories or any particular pieces that you think, you know, you feel God has spoken to you. Um, we can load that up too onto the website and onto the Facebook page as well. So that together as a community, we can all um, help encourage and support one another. As a community, in terms of reaching out to the community that we live in, uh, we're going to be joining churches together. Uh, churches together going to a hub meeting tomorrow in Folkestone to look at how in this area we can coordinate all that we're doing together and we can operate as one church with one voice and with one witness. And so we're looking to do that. Um, as from tomorrow, we'll be getting more details and I'll give you more details as we go forward on that. I just want to finish by reminding us that there is only one who has overcome every sickness. And there is only one who has overcome every disease and only one who has overcome death itself, and that's Jesus. And we're reminded of the time in the Gospels where at the beginning of Mark's Gospel, Jesus is invited to go into Simon Peter's house and heal Simon Peter's mother-in-law who is sick with a fever. And as soon as he comes into the house, the first thing that Jesus does is he reaches down and he takes her by the hand. And I want you to know that he has you by the hand at this time. He has you by the hand through this difficulty and in this season. And we trust in him and we know that he is faithful and true. Amen.